Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. As you can see on screen, the stock market indexes, such as the NASDAQ, the SP500, and the Dow Jones have been doing exceptionally well, with the NASDAQ up over 10% year-to-date, the S&P is up over 9%, and the Dow is up over 3%, so it's a great time to be an investor at this time. But we also have some bad news regarding Southwest Airlines as well as Boeing, which is an air vehicle manufacturer. Recently, a Southwest Airline flight had to return to Denver after losing an engine cover. The FAA is investigating an incident on Sunday in which a Southwest Boeing 737 had to return to Denver immediately after takeoff, when an engine cover blew off mid-flight and hit a wing flap. This just adds to Boeing's woes, which they have been experiencing for the last few months, and this is not very good news for Southwest Airlines either. Despite this negative news update for these companies, I still personally hold Southwest and Boeing in my personal portfolio because fundamentally they are still very strong companies. This is why I think investors should identify fundamentally strong companies to buy on weakness or when short-term news decreases their respected share prices, and I think that's exactly what's going on with Boeing and Southwest, so I would love to hear your your thoughts about either of those companies down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about some AI or artificial intelligence news, starting off with a tech giant such as OpenAI. If you didn't know, AI companies which are trying to train artificial intelligence models need to use content created by human beings. And according to this article, AI companies could be running out of content extremely rapidly. It seems that many artificial intelligence companies have already scraped Wikipedia entries, scientific papers, and many other sources, including YouTube. This is how happening so rapidly that according to the Wall Street Journal, over the next two years, training models could actually run out of content to train artificial intelligence large language models and chatbots. In the future, we might even have AI models train off of other artificial intelligence models instead of human content, so that is going to be very interesting. As of right now, OpenAI has allegedly already started to develop tools to transcribe audio from YouTube videos so they can use this content from YouTube to train their own artificial intelligence models. Surprisingly, YouTube's parent company named Google didn't even raise an eyebrow about this, considering that Google is also transcribing YouTube videos to feed their own AI models. Essentially, Essentially, we are in the midst of the great AI race, and only a few artificial intelligence models will reign supreme. Now, as of right now, we don't really know which of these models will be the best for the long term, but I am very excited to see what these companies can produce over the next decade. In my personal opinion, I think there are a few artificial intelligence or AI companies that essentially have the best stock on the stock market right now, and those would be none other than companies like Microsoft. Alphabet, Palantir, NVIDIA, ASML, Micron Technology, as well as Super Microcomputer. But I will leave that up to you to determine whether or not you like any of the companies that I just mentioned, because again, some of these companies may not be good for your personal portfolio, but overall, I have been loving them. Next up, let's talk about a few other technology companies which are related to Bitcoin. If you didn't know, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, and crypto traders are very excited considering that Bitcoin is trading close to its highest price that it has ever traded at, which is great news for cryptocurrency investors. However, the crazy thing about this is that you can invest into companies which mine Bitcoin. You heard that right. They literally mine Bitcoin and acquire multiple Bitcoins each day. What's really interesting here is that you can literally make an investment into companies which are mining Bitcoin. These companies would include Marathon Digital, Hut8, as well as Riot Platforms. Ticker symbol M-A-R-A, -A, ticker name Mara, ticker symbol R-I-O-T, ticker name Riot, and ticker symbol HUT, ticker name HUT. Many cryptocurrency junkies are very excited because Bitcoin is literally about to go through a halving, and normally after a halving, Bitcoin's price goes even higher, so this should invigorate investors and cryptocurrency traders alike. For me personally, I would rather invest into Bitcoin than these Bitcoin mining companies, but if you do want to invest a small portion into these companies, then Marathon Digital, Riot Platforms, and HUT8 are some of the best, so at minimum, keep those companies on your radar. Next up, let's talk about Eli Lilly, ticker symbol LLY, which is one of my all-time favorite
different biopharma companies. Eli Lilly has been in the news lately because of their weight loss pharmaceutical known as Zepound. This pharmaceutical works so well that TikTokers are allegedly pleading with Eli Lilly to sell single dose vials of their weight loss pharmaceutical named Zepound on their own without any accompanying injector pens. However, even though this has been a huge success for Eli Lilly, the FDA has actually warned individuals and other companies about sketchy knockoff brands of Zepound. Therefore, if you want to acquire any of this, make sure you are going through the proper channels to do so, otherwise it could potentially even be lethal. Now before we get into the best stocks to buy, let's quickly talk about earnings that are coming up. Because on Tuesday, WD-40 and Tilray brands will release their earnings. Then on Wednesday, the March CPI data will be released, which is going to cause the general stock market to experience some volatility, and we are also expecting to see earnings from Delta. Lastly, to round out the week on Friday, we can expect an earnings report from Citigroup, Progressive, BlackRock, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan. Now let's talk about the best stocks to buy, starting off with none other than NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, because this Wall Street analyst believes that this company could surge by another 38% over the next 12 months. So let's talk about it. So far, NVIDIA shares have skyrocketed by 76% according to this article year to date, and the demand for their products are not slowing down anytime soon, according to this analyst at KeyBank. But it seems that the demand for their products are not slowing down anytime soon, at least according to this analyst at KeyBank. This is one of the reasons why NVIDIA's revenues jumped by over 200%. But it gets even better, because NVIDIA's data center business is now over three quarters of the company's general revenue, and that's exactly what this KeyBank analyst wants to hone in on. They believe that the demand for NVIDIA's GB200 rack computing systems will be in high demand, and could command an average selling price between 1.5 million to $2 million. This means that the GB200 for NVIDIA could generate them between $90 billion to $140 billion in annual revenue, which is absolutely insane. And it seems that this prediction isn't far off, considering that NVIDIA themselves believe that they could reach a revenue of $160 billion by calendar year 2026. So overall, it does seem that NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, does have a further upside left in them. Next up, let's talk about Uber, which is a ride-sharing pioneer, ticker symbol UB. ER. Uber has been growing extremely rapidly lately, and they also recently posted triple-digit earnings growth during their fourth quarter. For context, during that period, according to the article, Uber posted earnings of $0.66 cents a share, which marks a 128% increase year over year. But for the full year, Uber generated approximately 119% regarding their earnings to where they brought in $0.87 cents a share. Now this is all well and good, but let's look to 2024, because according to analysts, for the year of 2024, they expect a 123% increase in their earnings to where they could bring in $1.94 per share, which is going to be phenomenal, and this will also act as a positive catalyst for their general share price. And that's why Uber is on this list as one of the best stocks to buy right now. Next up, let's talk about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI. And if you didn't know, SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank. SoFi's CEO, who was Anthony Noto, recently spoke to analysts about this one-stop shop for financial services and products. In a recent conference call, he said, and I quote, We achieved multiple records and realized many of our aspirations despite seismic geopolitical and macroeconomic events. End quote. And I completely agree with him there, but I think this company actually did better than what he's letting on, and here's what I mean. SoFi actually beat Wall Street estimates because Wall Street thought they were just going to break even, but actually, SoFi ended up having an earnings beat to where they brought in two cents a share on adjusted revenues of $594.3 million, which is larger than what Wall Street wanted the company to bring in because Wall Street thought the company was only going to bring in $575 million. So SoFi Technologies actually beat on both their earnings and their revenue, which was great news. This is one of the reasons why their CEO went on to say, and I quote, we demonstrated that we have built a business to thrive in a host of challenging environments, reacting swiftly to change, driving our business forward with standout financial performance while continuing to serve our members' needs." End quote. Again, I agree with the CEO, because SoFi was extremely stable and resilient during a time of macroeconomic volatility. But the news gets even better because SoFi is approaching another catalyst, and that would be their quarter one earnings results, which will be released on April 29th. Now the problem here is that these numbers are not 
not as good as their quarter four numbers, which means that investors might use this as a time to take profits. So please be aware of that. As of right now, several analysts have been positively adjusting their price targets on SoFi, including a Citigroup analyst who has a buy rating on this company and an $11 price target, which is great news. However, please pay attention to what I said earlier, because this company could certainly pull back in their share price, but if it does, I'm going to use this as a further buying opportunity. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Next up on our list of the best stocks to buy, let's talk about Tesla stock, ticker symbol TSLA. As you might have known, Tesla has gone through a wild ride recently, and their share price has been extremely volatile, but personally I am loving it because I am slowly accumulating more and more Tesla shares during this time of major volatility in their overall share price. According to the article, the CEO, who is none other than Elon Musk, wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Friday evening that Tesla will unveil their robotaxi technology on August 8th. We actually ended up talking about this in a previous video, and we also talked about their upcoming low-priced EV, also known as an electric vehicle, codenamed the Model 2, and that will be released sometime in 2025. This means that Tesla has two gigantic catalysts coming up, and in my personal opinion, I think the robo-taxis are going to generate more revenue for the company, however, from a consumer standpoint, the Model 2 is going to be great for customers. A Deutsche Bank analyst even had to say the following about this news, and I quote, We view Friday's sequence of Tesla's news as a potentially thesis changing for investors, but with still many questions unanswered, it may be too early to tell if it is particularly bearish or potentially positive. They go on to say, if Tesla were to confirm that its renewed robotaxi focus comes at the expense of the Model 2, we believe this would introduce a considerably higher risk profile for the stock and remove a key reason many shareholders currently own the stock, end quote. For context, this Model 2 electric vehicle is going to be in between the price range of around $25,000 to $35,000. This is going to be one of the most competitive cars that Tesla has ever released, and I anticipate that they are going to receive a lot of demand for this. But honestly, their robo-taxis will generate them more revenue over the long term. You see, their robo-taxi service is a part of their full self-driving vehicles, to where Tesla can sell their robo-taxi software, or license it, or even start a whole robo-taxi business. So they're going to make money in three different ways here. This is why Kathy Wood of ARK Invest sees Tesla generating around $100 billion in free cash flow in the year of 2027 due to their robo-taxis and their autonomous driving technology. For me personally, I think Kathy Wood is slightly too too bullish on this overall projection, but I do understand where she's coming from, and I do also think that this is going to heavily benefit Tesla as well as their share price, and that's why I am accumulating shares right now, because I am more than willing to hold these shares until 2027 or even many years after that. Investors 10 years from now may look back on this buying opportunity wishing that they bought into this company right now, and that's exactly what I'm doing, because I think the long-term trajectory of this company is extremely positive, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below in the comments. You should also know that in our previous video, we touched on Palantir's newest partnership with Oracle, which is truly a game changer for both of these companies. If you're not familiar with this company, Palantir is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. And this recent deal that they signed with Oracle is going to heavily benefit both of these companies and their respected share prices. I'm sure you're already aware that one of the most high profile trends over the past year has been artificial intelligence. And these two are some of the best AI companies to buy on the stock market right now, which is exactly why they're in this video. To give you a quick summary from our last video, the AI software and data analytics pioneer named Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, recently signed an agreement with database and cloud computing specialist Oracle, ticker symbol ORCL. By pairing these titans together, they will quote, provide secure cloud and AI solutions, which aim to power businesses and governments around the world. Both of these companies are going to feed off of the synergy from one another, and this will radically impact both of these companies very positively. Just listen to this. As soon as the fourth quarter, Palantir earned revenues of $608 million, which equates to a 20% year-over-year growth rate. On top of this, Palantir also generated its fifth consecutive quarterly profit thanks to the catalysts regarding their artificial intelligence platform. But it gets even better. If you didn't know, Palantir has these things called boot camps, where Palantir trains other companies to use Palantir's own software to benefit those companies in both effectiveness and efficiencies. Palantir had a goal of running around 500 of these boot camps over the next year. But here's where the great news comes in. They actually blew expectations out of the water because they ended up hosting around 560 boot camps across 465 organizations in just four months. 
Therefore, the demand for Palantir's artificial intelligence boot camps was three times higher than they originally anticipated, which is great news for this company. But we shouldn't sleep on Oracle either. For instance, according to the article, Oracle's cloud infrastructure revenue jumped by 52% year over year, which is amazing. This actually ended up outpacing Amazon, Alphabet, and Microsoft's own cloud segments in regards to revenue growth, because they generated between 13%, 26%, and 30% respectively for these companies. With that being said, I personally do own Oracle and Palantir Technologies in my portfolio, but you should be aware of one thing. Palantir is rather expensive right now, considering that they trade at 70 times their forward earnings and 16 times their forward sales. Ideally, we would want both of these numbers lower. For instance, we would want their forward earnings around 50, and we would want their forward sales between 10 and 12. But at the same time, we also need to discount these metrics and accounting ratios off of their growth rates, and that's why investors are still buying into Palantir right now, and many believe this company has further upside potential, which is why this company is on our best stocks to buy right now. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and tell me your thoughts about Oracle or Palantir down in the comments below. With that being said, I'll see you in the next YT video.